Hello my friends, it is I, Christine, again. Today, I'm gonna do what the actual f Recently, I've done a lot of videos that weren't really nail art videos, and you guys have noticed. want to have any fun before they die? No, but seriously, I get it, guys, and thank you for voicing your concerns. You want some nail art, don't ya? And I'm happy to hear that you even remember or care about the fact that I did nail art at all. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm not even that good. I mean, there are millions of other straight-up nail tutorials out there on the internet, some by amazingly talented artistic people. Myself, a little less artistic, but I try and keep you entertained with other things, like my sense of humor. In any case, let's do some actual nail art today. And don't forget to like this video if you like watching me do nail art. I was working on a video that'll be coming up next that's not a nail art video. But in that video, I was using these test color bar screen thingies. Anyone remember these? Anyone? It's pretty much the international symbol for something is wrong with your television. I thought about doing the international symbol for something is wrong with your YouTube, but that was really boring, so. I'm gonna start off with a peel off base coat because there will be peel porn, but probably not in this video because I won't have had time to wear it long enough. You can follow my Snapchat for some exclusive behind the scenes peel porn though. Next, we gotta prepare some straight line things using these straight line nail vinyls. <sighs> you know, it's been a long time since doing a nail art video when I don't even know how to explain simple things anymore. Basically, I'm gonna make some decals for myself and I'm using a piece of nail polish that I peeled off from a design you haven't seen yet to kind of figure out how thick the middle stripe should be. I basically want to divide my nail into three different sections. So let's make some white perfect stripe decals, decals, whatever. Original holosexuals know what I mean when I say things that don't sound right. Let's make some yellow ones too. By the way, I'm using a special nail art mat to make these on. I put a link down below for where you can find them if you want one. They're pretty handy. Now we're gonna let all those dry and turn into stickers. And I'm gonna paint all my nails with a nice creamy white nail polish. That ain't no milk, motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, nostalgia, swearing and nail art, swearing and nail art. Truth be told, this was a particularly challenging color coordination design thing, so I did plan it out on a piece of paper before. And I used a shitload of different colors. I put the links for all of them down below, and it probably took me forever to do that, so you should check them out, because I did it. Since I made myself a white stripe decal to go down the middle of my middle nail, I can loosely kind of freehand paint the yellow on one side and the blue on the other side, and not worry too much about whether or not the line is straight in the middle, because I'm gonna cover it up with the white decal afterwards. Now when your decals are dry on your mat, you can peel it up with a very thin skinny metal tool thing, and it's really satisfying to peel it up. Cut it so you get a nice straight edge, and I'm just applying some clear nail polish down the middle, so the decal has something to stick to. But oh shit guys, look, it's what's on on my other hand. It wouldn't be a Simply Nailogical real nail art video without this. I'm wearing a beautiful purplish blue linear hollow that I've been wearing for eight or nine days, so that's why it looks like I've been wearing it for eight or nine days. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, so just fold the deco over the top of your nail, cut off the excess, and you can use a cleanup brush dipped in a little bit of acetone to kind of melt it under your nail. It sounds bad, but it's really totally fine. There's nothing wrong. You're just melting the nail polish, not your actual nail. Next, we're just gonna freehand this perfectly straight pink rectangle. <laughs> F no. I made a deco for that too, obviously. Why anyone would bother freehanding when you can just make these stickers, I don't know. Just cut that up to size, then add a little bit of clear nail polish where it's supposed to go, and simply press it right on your nail. Look at that geometric precision. Now I'm kind of f for the black parts though. <laughs> Didn't really have much choice but to freehand the black because it's curved around the cuticle, so it's really hard to cut a square 
That's not a square, you know what I'm saying? Sure, I suppose I could have painted that whole bottom section black and then put the pink over top, but the pink wouldn't have shown up that well over black because the pink is lighter than the black, you know, it's like color science. But I suppose there's multiple different ways and order of things that you could have done for these nails to arrive at the same finished look. Let me show you how I did it, by blocking the camera with my hand, yep. Yeah, that's that's really helpful, Christine. Good job. You're so good at this. When you're done, you can add a nice thick coat of glossy taco to seal everything in and kind of level out the playing field of colors. And now we interrupt this video to deliver an important message from your internet service provider. Christine of the YouTube channel Simply Nailogical just did an actual nail art tutorial. Wow, wow, my, my mind is f***ing blown. <laughs> so while the glossy taco looked cool, I wanted to try it with a matte taco. That's matte top coat, in case you're new here. Because I felt like it melded the colors together better, I don't know. Sometimes things look better matte, just sometimes, very rarely for me personally. But this is one of those times I wanted to try it. Even though TV bars aren't hollow, my background is full of hollow bar line things, so that's there to compensate. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. You can use this line sticker decal technique to make any combination of colors, really. It doesn't have to be for a TV thing from a period of time before you were born. <laughs> Wait a second. Yep. That's a menchie hair. What's a nail art tutorial on my channel without a menchie hair? Now things are complete. We can all go home now. <laughs> Wait, no, I lied. No video is complete on my channel without adding some hollow. Oh yeah, girl. Let me see you sparkle. I want to see them rainbows. A true hollow sexual can't resist adding a hollow taco in a design that really didn't need it. And a final thick glossy taco because I just want to make that hollow shine, baby. Let me see you shine. And that's it. Now you don't care if your TV has a bad signal error because you get to look at the hollow. Alright guys, thank you for sticking with me through my dumb as f videos sometimes. <laughs> nail art or no nail art, I hope you guys enjoy my content because I enjoy making it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!